thank you so much for being with us on the program. I want to get your thoughts on the current political situation in Haiti. Is it going to spiral into full chaos, or will they be able to put together a transitional government? Well, the situation is really complicated right now. As you've uh, said it yourself, um, there's been a lot of violence in the past two weeks. And now uh, the uh, various stakeholders here in Haiti have to um, agree to uh, build this new uh, form of governance, which to many people is a bit of an experiment at this point. Many experts have said that foreign interference, particularly of the United States, has brought Haiti to where it is today. Would you agree? Well, uh, Haiti has had a very complicated history with the United States. Um, they were uh, they led an occupation of the country from 1915 to 1934 for 19 years, uh, in which we're you know seeing the consequences to today. Uh, there's been extensive uh, body of work on the what they call the independence debt that uh, Haiti paid to France and to the U.S. So it, it's been a very complicated uh, situation. However, uh, the U.S. also have a regional responsibility and which Haitians believe they failed to assume uh, in the latest uh, you know, wave of violence that has been sweeping through the country. Is that one of the reasons why we're seeing so much violence across the country, particularly from the gangs? Just give us a sense of how much control gangs have across Haiti. Well, as it stands right now, 80% um, of the capital, Port-au-Prince, is under some form of gang control. And uh, it has made daily life for folks uh, very complicated. Uh, they, you know, there, there's um, a lot of uh, intern internally displaced people they have to seek shelter uh, either in schools or in churches or in squares, you know, uh, fleeing violence. And in the last wave of violence, folks that were already in shelters had to, to flee these shelters. Right. As you mentioned, thousands of people have been displaced and the humanitarian situation just continues to get worse with many people struggling to even find food to eat. Just give us a sense of how dire the situation is and how much worse it's going to get if it continues at this rate. Well, three UN agencies have raised alarm on the situation. Uh, IOM, which spoke about uh, over 15,000 people who have been displaced in the last few weeks. Uh, in Port-au-Prince alone, um, you have the WFP and the UNICEF who have raised the alarm about famine-like conditions striking in the capital, but also for half of the population of the country. It's a very difficult time for, for Haitians. All right. Independent journalist Harold Isaac, thank you so much for being with us here on TRT World. I appreciate it.